Uh, right now I'm with Rita, and she drove from uh, Staten Island to see me. Hey. Um, I put her a little bit of a shock, but anyway, uh, she was talking about her uh, chemotherapy experience. I said, wow, do you want to share it? She said, bring sure. it on. Okay. Okay, so um, I was diagnosed with triple negative cancer, uh, breast cancer. I had surgery, and uh, clean excision, not in my nodes, but they recommended uh, a typical protocol of chemotherapy, uh, Red Devil for four weeks. Uh, for four rounds and another one taxol something for 12 and radiation for five weeks on a daily basis. I did two rounds of chemo hoping, you know, I was willing to be like a lamb to slaughter and do what the doctor said. And uh, after the first round, like within a few hours, I got extremely ill. Uh, I was hospitalized and I will tell you that like every cell in my body was on fire. I've never experienced anything like it. There wasn't any part of my body that was free from this burning sensation. Of course, I was vomiting, um, but I just went into a kind of a downward child's pose, and uh, I stayed like that for four days until it started to lift. And um, started to feel better. Um, couldn't drink anything, couldn't get anything down, no water. Uh, everyone was saying, you need to drink, it'll flush it out, but water wouldn't even go down. Um, went in for the second round two weeks later. Pretty much the same thing happened. Uh, got back into that pose and I looked at my husband and I said, I can't do this, I, I'm gonna die. And he's like, I know I can see it. So we both quietly and privately decided to pull away from the chemo. I wouldn't even tell my children because they were against it. And I started studying. I started studying all about nutrition and naturopaths and looking for people that were healing naturally. And uh, that's the course I've taken so far, and I've been clean. It's been um, six months, so um, I'm hoping to continue like this. And that's it for me. I would never go back to that kind of treatment again. And you you became a vegan, right? A became, raw vegan. I'm a plant-based <laughs> raw vegan. I do some cooked foods. Um, that's okay. Yeah, I follow the Square One protocol. Uh, Chris Walks recommends. Okay. And um, you know, I'm, I'm open to new things. I'm, I'm always trying. I'm in the process of discovery all the time. It's uh, not just food. It's uh, emotional healing. It's spiritual healing. It's a physical healing. Um, it's exercise. It's trying to be happy. It's you know, living your life to the fullest, looking for your purpose, meditating, everything. Every moment's a moment of love. <laughs> love. It's definitely all about love. And, and you're living your dream right now. <laughs> I'm living the dream. Yeah. Super excited. And I'm super grateful. Yeah, just yeah. to be here every day is a, is it's a, gift. a gift. Yeah, yeah, that's what I say. Wow. People don't understand that. Living the dream means every day is a gift, no matter where. Right. And I feel very blessed being next to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, a lot of people with cancer, I yeah. mean, uh, someone asked me, and I thought this was a really important question, why do you want to die? And that just, like, hit home. And I was like, wow, that's not going to happen, you know? And I, I had to search my soul. And I know, why, I know why I want to live, but I also had to look at maybe why did I want to die. And you have to renew your purpose every day. You know, you have to renew yourself and, and, and commit to yourself and this lifestyle in order to improve and get better. And here okay. I am. Anything else? That's it. Anyway, live from Arnold's Way. Uh, you actually brought me to tears. Oh, I did. Thank you. Uh, more women have to hear this. Um, too many women are just being pushed into the, into the medical field without without even questioning. Yeah, well, they, they say there's a lot of um, emotional stuff around breast cancer, you know? How women feel about themselves, how they feel about giving, being taken from, um, sucked dry, a lot of things that we have to look closely at and, and really look into our soul and, and see what's going on that, you know, maybe we need to fix and because, you know, the alternative is, is not a good one and you eventually have to get there anyway, so you might as well heal yourself emotionally as well. There's a lot of books about that as well. You're ready. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Live from Arnold's Way with Rita, I really give thanks for being here. Uh, share it, share this if you can, if you want. Uh, body can heal itself. It can. It's, healing is a commitment. It's an everyday, every moment commitment. Okay. Bye. <laughs>